and welcome to this week's Glass Tower Top 5. It is the week of, what, May 3rd, 2018. I'm Christina Reese. And I'm Brandon Zeck. And we are counting down the top five art events in Texas this week. So we're going to kick off with number five. Number five is at a venue that uh, we don't see that much of. They have shows regularly, and their shows normally look really interesting. But uh, this is one particular. It's Amy Beth Wright, who's a Houston artist, and the show is called Springy. It's like kind of some caps, some lower kick. You'll see. Um, but uh, so Amy was a UH MFA painting grad in I think 2014, and she's been living in Houston ever since and kind of developing this body of work. It's very personal. Um, it's based kind of around her grandmother's like quilts and baby blankets and, you know, all of these various like family heirlooms. Um, and this is a big show. Amy's from Texarkana. And it's almost, I guess, kind of like a homecoming. Uh, there's over 100 works. There's some small stuff, some big stuff, some sound work, some paintings, some sculptures. And this is a show that I know has been in progress for a really long time. And, you know, it's at a place that not a lot of people are going to get to go see it. So I, I'm actually going to go see it pretty soon. And I'm really excited for it. And I've seen installation images of it. And I know it's going to be great. So number five this week is Cinemarfa. Uh, it actually starts today, Thursday. Most of the programming is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Most of the screenings take place at the Crowley Theater. Cinemarfa started in 2011. It happens every year. It's programmed by uh, David Hollander and Jennifer Lane. Um, there's a theme every single year. This one's called Storytelling for Earthly Survival, which is also the title of one of the films that's going to be screened. Influential ideas about gender, technology, ecology... Uh, interspecies relations. Uh, these are meant to be the themes that resonate throughout this festival. This is always great. Peter Lucas has covered this for us in the past. I'm going out there this weekend uh, to catch as much of it as I can, and I will report back. The thing that I'm really excited that I'm so jealous that you're going to get to see is Annie Sprinkle and Beth Stevens's eco-sexual piece. Yeah. I saw them give an artist talk maybe like two years ago in Austin when they were kind of developing this, mm -hmm. and I'm so excited for you to see it. Okay. Number three this week is in Houston. It's Nick Vaughn and Jake Margolin, a show called The Scene at Devin Borden Gallery. Uh, so Nick and Jake, they're longtime Houston people, cut map pieces, pieces that kind of mine queer histories uh, in Texas and across America. Well, this series of works specifically focuses on histories of the Houston drag scene from 1969 to 1981. So it's kind of a pivotal year role or a pivotal set of years when it was first developing and then when it really kind of took hold of the Houston community. Um, there's just a lot of histories within this. There's a really beautiful large piece that are cut maps that are portraits of some of the drag stars from the Houston scene cut into the maps of Houston. Um, the work's really poetic and, and there's an interview with one of the uh, former Houston drag icons and then another cool thing that's happening actually Thursday today is uh, a premiere of a new multi-channel video by Nick and Jake at Aurora Picture Show. So this is kind of paralleling the show uh, at Devin Borden's a little bit, but it's uh, interviews and you know other things and performances that are done uh, with Oklahoma-based drag performers. So you know. Looking at that history also, our neighbor to the north. So number two on our list this week is, it's kind of a twofer, but not really. It's the Web Gallery in Waxahachie. They're opening a show, um, which is called Lone Stars, a celebration of Texas culture and art, which coincides with the release of a new book by Jay Winnert called Outsider Art in Texas, Lone Stars. We've run a chapter of the book um, yesterday, Wednesday, and today you can find it on Glass Tire. That one is about Consuelo Chilo Gonzalez Amezcua. Um, but there are other great outsider artists of Texas, Ike Morgan, Charles Delshaw, uh, Johnny Swearingen, Hector Alonzo Benavides. They're all in the book. It's a great book. I've seen it. It's beautiful. The show opens on Sunday. Uh, so as with Web Gallery, it's a Sunday afternoon thing from 4 to 7 p.m. Go out there. There will be beer and barbecue and the whole nine yards. And that's that's our kind of North Texas pick for this week. I'd be remiss not to mention there's also a smaller show upstairs at Web Gallery of Works by Houston artist Bill Davenport. I love Bill. Make sure you stop in and see that too. The title is Bill's Junk. The, the content is question mark. <laughs> Yay! 
And number one this week is happening in San Antonio. It is the premiere of Tia Chuck, which we wrote a news item about this this week. Neil Farso wrote a really nice kind of preview of the film. Uh, This is a film made by San Antonio-based filmmakers, Wally Films, and it is about Chuck Ramirez. I mean, what more can we say about Chuck Ramirez? He had a big kind of retrospective at the McNay uh, earlier last year, and he was a standby of the San Antonio art community. Yeah, he was a linchpin, and he was a real pioneer, too. He was a conceptual artist. He was really, really good. I've seen the documentary. It's it's very, very good. It premieres on uh, Cinco de Mayo, the 5th of May, at Tobin Center's HEB Performance Hall in San Antonio. Tickets are $20. This is a big event. It's a big deal. It'll be, I think, very a very special night in San Antonio. If you can't catch it in San Antonio, it will also screen in Houston at Aurora Picture Show as part of the Contemporary Art Museum Houston's exhibition right here, right now, which we put on the top five last week. Uh, that happens on June 14th at 7 p.m. So see the movie if you can. And I watched it at home and I cried. Uh, I, probably predictably so, but yeah, it's good. 